What's up everybody? Today is the 2nd of September. These lemon autos seeds were dropped in water on the 9th of August. So however old that makes them, maybe just over three weeks. Anyway, I went ahead and topped these one time, a real small topping. Uh, yesterday, the day before. Anyway, something like that, I topped these. Um, ooh, that came out. Look at that. Good thing it's not too far from where it should be. Anyway, I just topped these the other day, and they're getting nice and bushy. They're staying really short. These three don't look like the same plant as this one, but uh, whatever. So they're, these are all three growing really well. Uh, this one's a little behind on the rest of them. This was the one that was really lanky when it was a seedling. Now it's spindly as an older plant. But uh, everything's looking good on these, and I love the way these... The structure of these little autos is really short and squatty. These are lemon autos, by the way. I got them at Strange Supermarket. But today I decided that I'm going to go ahead and transplant these over in the RDWC side. And right now they're just top fed. So all they are is just a net pot sitting on top of a bucket with water basically running from one uh, thing onto the roots of each of these plants. I haven't looked at the roots yet. But I guess I can now because this thing actually popped up anyway. So let me go ahead and take a look at the roots real quick. I'm assuming if the roots aren't hanging out the bottom, then I'm not going to put them in RDWC. But I, I'd be shocked, honestly, if these roots weren't hanging out the bottom of that pot yet. So let's see what they look like here. Yeah, there we go. They're hanging out the bottom. That'll be fine for RDWC. Actually, that'll be just right. So that's the spindly one. The other ones are bigger and thicker, so I'm assuming they have better roots than that. I don't know if I show that good. So either way, there they are. So that's plenty of roots to put in the RDWC system and get it rocking. Um, like I said, this top this top fed system is money when it comes to uh, getting roots going and getting plant early growth going. So it did its job for sure. Let's put this here so it doesn't have problems. All right, so there we go. Get the water pumping again. I don't like it actually pouring on the rocks like that but it's okay i'm about to move them over anyway but i figured i'd come show the plants while i just i just started mixing the uh the solution i need to add to the solution right now it's um well it was six point it's been it's been rising so i think these things have been really sucking in some nutrients lately but it was uh i said it's 6.1 and uh it was about 4 15 on the parts per million so the parts per million have been falling a little bit because like i said i think these plants have been really drinking in the last couple of days just hold still a couple more minutes so these things have been really drinking the last couple of days and uh, I said the, the parts per million have been falling so I'm going to go ahead and pop the parts per million up on this uh, solution I'm going to put in here now I'm going to change the solution around a little bit what I had in here was a rapid start uh, armor SI cow mag and the um, general hydroponics flora trio and what I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is take out the, um, uh oh, okay, what I was saying was, uh, for this veg solution I'm making right now, is that I, actually right now I'm mixing up the uh, Armor SI, that's why I was over there making the video, because this, uh, this takes a while to get the Armor SI going first. It's about 20 gallons-ish in here, so I did 30 milliliters of Armor SI, so that's 1.5 milliliter per gallon of that. I'm dropping, I dropped the, uh, I'm dropping the, uh, rapid start. Uh, rooting, Jernhard Products rooting stuff here. I'm dropping that, that was in the solution. So I'm just gonna go with the Armor SI, HydroGuard, uh, one milliliter per gallon, CalMag, five per gallon, and then one milliliter per gallon of each of the uh, micro grow and bloom uh, Jernhard Hydroponics Flora series. And that's what I'm gonna have in here for now. Like I said, basically I'm, I'm emphasis on the uh, Armor SI, at this point because I kind of just want to make these really strong for the next however long and I, I, I don't see I'm not sure I'm gonna actually use a scrog or any other means to hold these up so I kind of want to make sure the stems and stuff are strong so I'm definitely making sure they got a, a pretty full dose of armor SI in there for this round uh, here's something else I never mentioned is it this thing a cart if you have any maintenance type stuff to do in your house whatever a cart is where it's at I mean, instead of like carrying these buckets around or carrying these uh, bottles around one at a time, whatever, I just roll my cart out of my little like storage room 
with all my crap on it that I might need. And it, it, this thing's awesome. So I have like reefing stuff on the bottom two shelves and I have the uh, nutrients on the top shelf here. But either way, this card is awesome. Highly recommend getting one. Buy them used on like Facebook or Craigslist for like 50, 60 bucks. And they're awesome. If you get the uh, nylon wheels, they're awesome. Let's put it that way. But yeah, this thing's way worth the money. So either way, once I get done mixing these up, I will go ahead and um, start putting it in the, um, sorry, put it in my, um, my system over there and then run it to fill up the, uh, the RDWC buckets so I get the right amount of uh, solution in my whole system there. And then I'll transfer over the plants and I'll be done. Actually, I'll have to clean the freaking um, the top fed system out, but then I'll be done. So either way, I'll be back when I'm uh, doing all that. All right, I am back and I am filling up the RDWC buckets. And I got the water over here ready to go and pump in here. Actually, I'll go ahead and fill up some of that too while I'm at it. Get everything up to its right operating heights here. Boom. All right, there we go. All right, like I said, got that plugged in. Uh, now I got water pumping in the reservoir. I got water pumping in the buckets. And those buckets should be draining out very soon. Not yet though. So this needs to kick in hard. Okay, so we're going. We're filling it up. We're filling up as I'm draining them into the buckets. The buckets should start draining right about now. There it goes. All right. And now I just have to bring up the water level in here to the desired level, which will be, I don't know, top of this ridge or so, top of that ridge over there or so. And that's where I'll be. I've got this now at uh, parts per million, should be around. The parts per million, the stuff I'm putting in is about 515. The parts per million, the stuff that was already in the system, is about 415. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add more than, well, I would expect it to be somewhere around 450 when I'm done here pH be around 5.8 because I actually made it really low pH on the new stuff and the old stuff was 6.1 or 2. So we'll see what it ends up at. But I've almost got sparking to get out of the way, but this is kind of a... Oh, well, either way, while I'm doing this, I might as well test out the... get the air pumps going on these suckers. So let's see. That one, that one, uh, that one, and that one. And I can turn off the pump that's in the reservoir over here because I don't need that anymore. There we go. We got bubbles in all four reservoirs. The bubbles in the bottom reservoir are off. I can take that air stone out of there. That, I use that when I'm near the top bed just to have the aerated water. But in the RDWC, there's plenty of bubbles in each bucket that I don't need the uh, reservoir being aerated. So there we go, everything's working, everything's up. I need to stop this pump in a second, let's see. Uh, got a little bit more space to get in there. Almost there, let's see how it looks over here in the reservoir. It's a little low, so let me just stop it now. Well, actually I could probably pump the whole thing in there. You know what? I'll just pump the whole thing in there so I don't have to worry about keeping the reservoir going with a bubbler and everything, so. Or keeping this, uh, sorry, uh, refill bin going with a reservoir. The last time I did this, I, I screwed this up and it was a siphoning effect, it was a nightmare. I made a big meth tent before I drilled that hole in the top of the drainage pipe. There was a video about that a while back. You know what, that is a little high, actually, forget it. I want to finish it off. Oh well. All right, so that's where I'm at. I actually overfilled this bin a little bit, that's fine. I'm going to take the air stone out of here because it is not being used now. It is not necessary. Let me do that first, get my towel. Either way, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take these plants, take them all over to the bins on the far side and just transplant them in there for the RWC portion of their life, which is the remainder of their life. So here's the spindliest plant. It's gonna go in the back corner because don't even wanna look at it. Anyway, going back in the back corner here, boom, there is one plant transplanted. All right. Get this out of the way here. Oh, Jesus. So, get all over there. Whatever, either way. So there's one plant, plant transplanted. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other four, or the three, actually. 
Might as well do it while I'm on the camera so I can see the roots on these other ones. I'll do the roots of one big one at least, not, not the rest of them. They're all the same basically. This is one of the bigger ones too. Let's see what the roots look like in this one compared to the spindly one. Yep, as is expected, oops. Gotta pull that out. As expected, the uh, the roots on these big fat plants are a lot better looking than the roots on that spindly one, so there you go. We'll go ahead and toss this in the back bin. All right, and I will come back when all this is up and running. So there's two, I'll just do the other two, and then I'll, uh, I'll come back when I got everything cleared out here and ready to go. All right, I'm back, and here's where I'm at. I got all these plants moved into the RDWC system over here. I got the SP3000s turned on. At, oh, I got one at 100%. This needs to be, I got them both turned on. Now I got them at like 60, yeah, we'll call it 65%. I'm gonna put 65% a piece, or six, 70, 70% a piece, either, whatever, that's good enough. So I'll put both these at 70%, which is plenty bright. I need to drop these down still. So I'm gonna need to drop these down about a foot and a half. And then I'm going to, uh, these fans are about where I want them. This one's kind of blowing across the top, up in the air a little bit. That one's kind of blowing across the bottom, down a little bit. And I got the humidifier there in the middle, which I'm probably gonna move up on top of these once I get them clean. So all I have left to do now, oh, actually here's the, uh, I did have a little bit of nutrient water left over. I didn't want to overfill this sucker. It was already pretty high. And this bin isn't exactly made for a full bin full of water. The sides start to bulge out. Here's what these bins look like. See, this is basically a Beto bucket system. When it's doing the top fed, it's got a, it's got a little, uh, I'd say at least a half an inch, almost an inch of water here. This bulkhead's, eh, I would say three quarters inch maybe. Three quarters an inch of water maybe is about what these bulkheads uh, don't let drain. So maybe three quarters of an inch of water in here. I'm gonna have to suck that up or uh, towel it up in all four of these. So I gotta clean this out. I'm gonna towel up the water and I'm gonna wipe it down with peroxide and then just put the lids on them and be done with them for another however long until I use the system again. And after that, everything is pretty much done here and I can just button the tent back up. Actually, I need to refill my humidifier and put the humidifier up on top, like I said. And that's it. And I'll be uh, on with letting these things grow some more. But look how squatty those things are. Those things are just all laying on the lids of the buckets. They're really short, flat indicas. I guess that's indica for you. Either way, so uh, like I said earlier in the video, I actually topped these a day or two ago, which I just couldn't help myself. I know they're autos and you're not supposed to top them, you're supposed to let them go, but I really don't like a, one single main stem. I just really don't like one single main stem. I like to. I like a fat top, kind of more tops, but whatever. We'll see. You know, I, I wish I had the patience to just not top it or the discipline to not touch the plants, but I just can't keep my hands off of them. So I had to top it at least once. It's a small little topping there, like I said, on top of each. Boink! I just chopped off the top. Not even not even two nose down, like a very, very, very short down the, the top. I just wanted to chop it. I just wanted to do it. Had to do it. So either way, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll come back in a second. All right, I am done with everything. So all the plants are transplanted over here. The spindly one is in the back where I don't have to look at it close. Here's all the nice little fluffy, awesome ones. Uh, I dropped down the SP3000s to very close, about a foot-ish, yeah, about a foot above them. And I changed the light schedules, got everything ready here. So um, I'm not changing the light schedules. Though. I'm going 16 hours or 15, uh, 16, 16 on, no, I'm going 19 on. 19 on and uh, 19 on and five off is what I do. I think I'm just gonna leave them like that all the way through flower for these autos, because I don't even know what to do with them. I'll just figure out I'll go to that. I uh, dropped them way down, so I actually uh, turned the uh, uh, intensity down to 50% on all these. And if the plants are fine at 50%, I'll just go ahead and bump up to 65 here in a few days, and then 75 and on and so far, all the way up. Especially if they start flowering. I don't know when these things are going to flower and I have no idea here. So I filled up the humidifier, put it up there on top. I got done cleaning out these bins with the peroxide. I just use household peroxide, this 3.0% stuff. What do you guys use? You guys use something like a 20 something percent peroxide? Or what do you use? Because I'm pretty sure this was three, yeah, this is 3%. But yeah, I, I probably need to get some actual growers hydrogen peroxide and clean out stuff with a, what, however, whatever percentage that is, 20 something maybe. But uh, whatever. 
took the air stone out of the reservoir and this thing's good over here the reservoir uh parts million was 445 and the ph is back at 6.0 so everything's good there these fans are good i think they're blowing the right amount on these they're not blowing too much they're blowing just enough they're getting a little bit of wiggling that little one on the back gets a little extra wiggling but uh, whatever so all these are getting some air flow humidity should be good as soon as i close this thing back up i got both panels open so it's probably down pretty low right now actually let me go take a look 80 degrees in there and 52 percent humidity which is that would be fine but uh yeah i have it set for like 70 i'm probably gonna start cranking that back a little bit maybe 65 60 now by the way that's the way things are going that is the um lemon autos uh transferring them over to the rdwc system and cleaning out the uh top fed system so if you guys watch this far i appreciate it if you haven't done so already please like comment subscribe all those things and uh that's it my next update will be i, I need to clean this room i still took out the big i took out this big thing that's in the way i need to take out this tent once i take this tent down it'll be time to do my next project which is going to be building this room out which is uh it should be pretty neat when i get done with it i'll do a video on the stuff i use to build it out which is uh a stuff called maker, maker pipe but I'll, I'll i'll do a video on that what i use to build my my basically my infrastructure for hanging things and building things on and that'll be my next video probably as far as building goes unless i just do another auto, lemon auto or some kind of edible video but uh but yeah so that's where we're at this thing looks good we'll see how these autos go might be my only autos run ever unless something weird happens but uh the other thing is this system this might be the last time i use this system because i plan on building w along with the room here where i'm going to build i'm going to build a uh kind of a integrated uh, perpetual grow rdwc system where i transfer the entire buckets with the plants instead of just the lid and the net pot where i transfer the entire buckets over to the uh the next system so i don't have to really disturb anything i'm, I'm planning on moving big plants so i don't want to carry big plants in a net pot i want to carry the entire uh pot Let's bring it over here set it down attach the union and be ready for the next system so veg system i'm going to be building a, a funky system for that that'll tie in and and be a kind of a like i said a a, a fit where it'll, it'll fit between both systems so i mean i'm looking forward to building that thing and see how it turns out but this this room is going to be probably when i get done building the one um perpetual grow like beginning system it'll be a top fed slash rdwc system for veg state of my big plants when i get them so it'll be basically taking up one side of this and then the other side i'm thinking about doing mothers four mothers four in the perpetual growth start four in the perpetual growth finishing there's my 12 plants boom but either way that, those build videos will be coming up soon now well, maybe not soon we'll see i got some other stuff i need to do before that but uh they'll be coming up someday and uh that's where we are with the autos i appreciate you guys watching one more time and uh thanks again peace